Do you want to be a plus size influencer? If you do, keep watching because I'm going to give you all the tips and tools to be successful. What's up, Stubby? You know you love me and you can't get enough of me. Oh, it's your girl, Marie. And y'all already know I'm back bringing that motherfucking heat. So, you want to be a plus size influencer, huh? I got you. Sis got you back. So, I know you probably like, how you gonna tell me how to be an influencer? Let me get you right now. I am. I'm Marie. Here on my YouTube channel, I do all things plus size, all things big. Because if it ain't heavy, it ain't no way. I started a YouTube channel with my boyfriend. We are sitting at 10K. Also started a TikTok that's at half a meal. I started my personal TikTok that has now reached 10K within like a few months. And now I've started my personal YouTube journey, which as you can see is about to embark on 10K as well. I'm also on Instagram at almost 100,000 followers. So the kid knows some things about being a plus size influencer. Um, So, now that you know who I am, I'm gonna give you the jewels and drop the gems. Let's get into this video. So the first thing about being an influencer or becoming an influencer is knowing what an influencer looks like for you. I have a lot of inspiration such as Diara, Alicia Marie, um, Neek. Like those are some of the people that I really, really enjoy watching. I love their content. I love how they structure their content, how they outline things and how they work I just find ways to make it about what I like and content that I choose to do so knowing what an influencer would look like for you you know that's the first tip that I can give you what does you as an influencer look like and then also understanding what content you want to post back in the day the saying used to be you need a niche you need a niche you need a niche you need a niche if you look on my channel I dibble and dabble in almost everything only because there's not a lot of content out there for plus size women. Like, you, it's information on how to be an influencer, but there's not information on how to be a plus size influencer. And it's two different, it's two different things, like totally two different entities. So I like to do things that are geared towards me and my experiences. So knowing what kind of content you want to post is very important, but you don't have to just be strictly fashion. You don't have to be strictly... A lifestyle you don't have to be strictly vlogs I would not suggest that because then you'll be narrowing yourself into a box and when you do try to post something outside of that narrative your fans are gonna be like where's the fashion sis where's this where's that versus with me I am trying to structure my content a little better to where if you want to see fashion you'll come on Fridays or if you want to see me dance twerk it out on Thursdays or Tuesday so that way the people that want to see that type of content they know when to come see me so knowing what type of content you want to do and then how you're going to post the content is tip number two you have to post like the biggest thing about being an influencer is you have to be able to put yourself out there for everybody to judge, for everybody to be in your business, for everybody to know you. Being able to put your business out, being able to be transparent at times. Um, again, back to my content, I just posted my jail story, which was very emotional for me to post, but I wanted to share that story because I know it helps somebody else in the long run. So you have to be able to get over what people think. You cannot be an influencer worrying about what people think because you will not succeed in this industry. So tip four is going to be, I wanna stay advertising friendly. You wanna stay brand friendly. And when I say brand friendly is, when you become a brand ambassador, you're pretty much the face of that brand. You have to have an end goal when it comes to posting content. Knowing what to post and what type of content to do all goes into research. Like you have to research. Yes, you wanna be lifestyle, you wanna do vlogs, but then what content or what brands can put their ads in your videos if you're just doing basic vlogs. So try on hauls, like you have to have some type of thing. Value, make sure that your content has value. You wanna be at least transparent, teaching, showcasing. You wanna give the, you wanna give the subscriber or the watcher something out of the video, even if it's a PDF on a breakdown of what you're talking about. Like you wanna give them something to make them 
really enjoyed the content and the 360 moment of okay I understand what she's talking about and then I also have this to refer back to or I could always come back and rewatch this to learn again like you want to teach them a new skill you want to give them something um every Thursday on my channel I do twerk videos because as a plus size girl sometimes you're not as confident to twerk or to dance and I give out very very easy to do steps to make you feel like you're showing out like because I know Cap, I can shake some hands. <laughs> so, you wanna make sure that you're giving the watcher something to gain. Like, you wanna give them something. The next tip is platform. Understand the platform that you're looking to start on. So, TikTok is very easy to go viral on, but going viral is not sustainable. You're not gonna make too much money. Instagram is very sustainable, but it is very, very judgmental. So your content needs to be aesthetically pleasing. It needs to really be like intentional when it comes to Instagram. YouTube is really the creme of the creme. It's residual income. Your videos will always make money once you're monetized. And it's better when it comes to longevity and actually being an influencer as a career. All of those platforms though, you need to understand what they require to help you grow. So with YouTube, consistency, and like I said, teaching is very good because people are gonna continue to watch the video. They're gonna continue to replay it, which will then bring up your views, which then will help you get monetized faster, which then will get them to wanna subscribe to the channel because you're teaching them something. With Instagram, it's more so of a quick fix. Oh, this is cute, let me like it and keep going. TikTok, you can also still do teaching, but again, it's so quick that it's like, it's here and then it's gone. And TikTok really doesn't pay that much. It's like pennies to nothing. So by the time you go viral, you probably make $50. So knowing the, knowing the platform that you want to use, and then also going back to what your audience is, knowing where your audience is. Maybe your audience is only on Instagram. Like some of my Instagram followers are actually moving to YouTube and they're excited that, I'm, that I started a YouTube channel. Never would have known until I started a YouTube channel. So you have to understand what your audience wants. And I'm a queen of polls. Do a poll like on Twitter, on Instagram, um, the timeline, like poll your fan base and ask them, hey, where do, what do you guys use the most? Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and find out where they're at and then bring your content to them. Simple, like it's it's simple. The other tip that I would like to say is, you have to have a love and a drive and a passion to be an influencer because you're not gonna see money right off the bat. You are just not gonna see it up front. Now, it is a great time to start a YouTube channel as a plus size, as a plus size girl. I graduated with a degree in mass communications, so I learned how to edit. I learned how to understand the algorithm and all of this other stuff. Um, so I'm very knowledgeable when it comes to how certain things work. But again, research, research, research. Everybody is talking about everything nowadays and it's not hard to find out information. To recap, make sure you want, make sure you know what your influencer you looks like. Make sure you have an idea of what content you wanna post. Make sure you research whatever it is that you're looking to do. Um, knowing the platform that you wanna post on, learning your audience, staying consistent, and scheduling out content. Those are the best tips that I can give you about how to become a plus size influencer. So I hope this video helps you. And if you have any more questions, DM me on Instagram or drop them in the comment box down below. So next time, study. If you don't stay curvy and cute, who the fuck will? Until next time, peace. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it.